Jeff Rowe from Two Hacks Garage. Well, back at Jimmy's, back on Project Jumping Jack Flash. You saw in the last video where we ended up, we got the engine set in place along with the transmission, the coupler, all aligned with the rear end. Um, we also showed you how we planned on making the front motor mounts, and Jimmy made a template. We got our quarter inch steel plate here. So what we're gonna do in this video, or sorry, yeah, aluminum, it's early in the morning, still kind of foggy in the head. Uh, so what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna start tackling making the engine mounts, making that engine plate, and getting everything in place. From there, guys, we'll be able to weld in our frame chassis tabs to get everything in there where we need it. So when we go to actually put the engine in there, it'll be ready, set in there in place. Like I said, this foam engine block, it really doesn't come in handy when we're building this. This is an exact replica of a small block Chevy. It makes it a whole lot easier because it's light. We can get it in and out. Um, transmission, although it's complete, it's power glide, so it's really not that heavy. But we got everything mocked up in place. We know everything needs to be. The crank, the transmission input output shaft, rear end pinion, it's all in alignment. Now we just need to make that engine plate. We got to make the front engine mounts, get everything tacked in place, cut, welded, ready to go. Jimmy sprayed some Daikin Blue on there. And what he's going to do is he's actually going to transfer this design over to that. I tell you what, guys, I'm rambling. Jimmy's ready to work. Let's get at this. Oh, yep. I guess we're going to, we're going to show what we got going on here. Let me show you. This is the top edge. I always try to use the top edge because it's a factory milled edge. And I got that done. Put a little dicom on it. What I will do here is I will not make the cutout on this, the notch here. I will continue to draw that line straight across and uh, do it that way. Now, the next one, unfortunately, I have to do it all. Um, I don't want to, I don't know if this, neither of these are factory edges and I don't want to, I just don't know if they're guaranteed to be straight with the world, but I'll have a shot at this end of this one, try it and see. And basically, just scribe the line out. I use a uh, just a little piece of uh, single strength cardboard, and I think it came out of a I don't know some kind of package that. Uh, and that's all there is to it. So yeah, with this quarter inch aluminum here, um, like like showed, use the Daikin blue. This is the same Daikin blue that's used for like gasket matching on heads and intakes and all that. It really does come in handy. It sticks pretty well. Um, like last video, we showed you how to make those templates. Now we're going to show you actually how to use them. With that, guys, we're going to get to work. We got a whole lot to do. See you soon. All right, Jimmy's in the other room cutting the other uh, motor mount here. Um, so if you look here, he scribed it, but he actually cut it larger on both sides. What we need to do next is what we're going to do is we're going to find exactly where we want these based upon where the bolt holes are going to be so we can get those drilled. And once we get those drilled, in order to make sure this is nice and straight and clean looking, we're actually going to chuck these up in the mill and then straight cut these to save these advance off. Bandsaw is just to get a rough cut. The mill will actually make it straight, true, straight, awesome, make it look good. So yeah, the next step of this is, is we're going to transfer where the holes need to be based upon where we'll have our, our chassis tab like this. We'll get our holes where they need to be, get those drilled, and then we'll make our final cuts on this in the mill, get it all straight with the world. See you in a few minutes.
All right, so here's the cardboard template, and we've got one of these, actually both of them roughed in pretty good. Chucked them up in the, in the mill, got them straight. So what Jimmy's gonna do now is when we originally put this on the engine block, he used transfer punches when we put that in place where the bolt holes are going on the front of the engine block. So now what he's gonna do is he's gonna line this up perfectly straight, and he's gonna transfer those yet again, and then we can get those drilled, make sure it's in place, and get these brackets finished up. What he's gonna do is get Jeff out of my way so I can work. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get out of his way. So yep, that's the next stage of this process is getting the holes drilled, seeing a few. All right, so what we did was, as you saw, Jimmy had already drilled these holes here. They go to the front of the engine. This is actually all in place, mocked up where it needs to be. He's got it shimmed into place. He's measured to make sure. So now what we're going to do is we're going to figure out where this chassis tab goes. No, we're going to make the other one. Well, we're going to make the other one, but then we're going to make sure where our chassis tabs are going to go. This is going to correlate to where these are going to sit in the back. So we got to make this other one yet. We got this one in place. We're going to get that one in place and then we're going to determine the actual place of these tabs so we can get these other holes drilled. I'll see you in a few. Right, so if you notice when we're doing different 
things with the chassis up front with those arms and the engine plates and motor mounts, we're always going back and we're checking something. What we're checking is the alignment of actually everything from the pinion through the coupler, and that goes straight through everything else. What we're doing is making sure that our coupler here actually stays in alignment. So you see how that comes in and out nice and easy? Tell them how we check it. Like this? Yeah. Straight through like that. So if this is lining up still, we know everything else is straight. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. Everything's nice and straight. Jamie's gonna go get those uh, front engine mounts tacked in. See you in a few. Well, there you go, guys. Jimmy and I got the front engine mounts engineered. Um, everything in the back is still lined up the way it should be. Um, by the way, this is not the hardware we're going to use. It's going to be aircraft bolts. But if you see here, the chassis tabs are welded in. It'll bolt back here together like this. And then to the bottom of the engine block, like the original way small block Chevys were actually mounted, it's going to mount in the front like that. Um, obviously they're roughed in they still need to be cleaned up they'll get polished the edges rounded and all that but yeah you can kind of see the gist of that um one of the big things is is when we put this in place we put the enderly cover in to make sure we had clearance on that like it wasn't going to hit but yeah that is our engine mounts and the next step we're going to be doing in the next video well we're going to tackle that engine plate on the rear of it with that guys hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one later